Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Aaron the Black Dragon and welcome back to more Pokemon White 2. In the last episode we got our second badge from Roxy and we also entered the Pokestar Studios where we get to shoot our own movies. And that's what we're gonna do here today. But first let's talk to everyone around here. Well now Fanny, looking forward to working with you. Please do your best until we make a movie to release in the theater. I will. Movies, they're amazing itself. Come now, Fanny, darling. Be, su uh, be surprised and moved. Try the experience for yourself. Also lower the text speed so that I can read through all of the dialogue that's going to happen there because a lot of it will be automated. Hi, hey, want to know anything about Pokestar Studios? Uh, tell me about the scripts. Pokestar Studios films are shot while following a script. In other words, the script is the foundation of the uh, foundation the rest of the movie is built on. Directions for making films work and, and information about the other actors is also written in the script. You can look at it while shooting, so check it out if you're in trouble. The scripts you can shoot increase depending on things like the content of the movies you've made or how much they are grossed. Hey, uh, want to know anything? Uh, I think I'm fine. Okay, do your best. Uh, studio movies are shot using rental Pokemon, right? Does this mean my little, little pup can't be in the movies? If you shoot a movie with rental Pokemon once successfully, then you can use your own Pokemon. That's why me and my Stunfisk are shooting for the stars. Right Stunfisk? I don't know if Stunfisk is star material Pokemon, but sure. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just the dialogue that you two had. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! What's your deal? Hey! You're new, right? Listen up! If you're an actor, make sure to check the script. Work hard and try to be a big star like Brisson. Like Brisson. Welcome to the soundstage of Pokestar Studios. Would you like to try to shoot the film? Uh, hold on a moment. Oh, I see. See you later. Because they told me I need to talk with you. Welcome to the soundstage of Pokestar Studios. Oh, you're... I guess since I don't remember your name, you must be new. Thank you. Okay, then I have to talk with you apparently. Well, let's go and shoot a film. Okay, what kind of Pokemon do you want to have perform with? <laughs> yeah, I can only have Rattle if I understood that correctly, so I'm gonna take Rattles. Okay, all right. Now we'll provide you with the perfect Pokemon for the part. Okay, then let's start the shoot. Let's go in. Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, let's get rolling. And three, two, one, action! And we're in the movies. Cameras are rolling on you and movie star Bryson. Movie star Bryson sent out Pawnyard. Here we go, Riolo. Am I Riolo girl now? Scene one. Got it. Checking the script is important. Okay, well then. Scenario. A hero battles the masked man who is targeting an amusement park. Mission knock out an opponent every move. My co star? Oh. That's kind of interesting. So I'm gonna have to go in there and force palm you. There you go. Super effective. Obviously. Most of Bryson sent out the Wallaby. Hey, what's going on? Is this one of those hero skits? A single hit to, to KO my Pokemon. You're pretty good, you little girl. Despite that, however, you will get down on your knees before me when you, I end you. Well, I can't read. Prepare to be finished. Bring it on! Well said. A dark secret arts enter, take them and be gone! I can see that working for that line. Whatever you see, ice punch! Faint attack? That hurts. But whatever, you should have used a flying type move. Bye! Such a lame fight, really. Cut! That might not be bad! 
Find work, everyone. Filming's done. Good work on the shoot. Would you like to release the film you just shot? In the theater? Sure. Why not? Yeah, let's save the game. I spat on my screen. Gosh dang it. Saving the game. Great, good work. That was stirring acting. I can't wait to see the finished film. And this is where we really, we are really amazing. The movie you just filmed will be finished in an instant and released on the silver screen. Come now, Danny Danny. Let's be off to the theater. I'm just... Hey boss, sorry to interrupt, but the time... No, that's right. Got it. Boom, so sorry, Danny Danny. I have to hurry off. But Danny, you should go see how your debut turned out. I'm sure it'll be an amazing movie. You are in it after all. Ciao, I'll see you again soon. Pokestar Studios is always waiting for you, Danny. Finally, I'm off the hook and I can do whatever the crowd I want. And the first thing we're gonna do, because I still have my text speech uh, lowered down, we're gonna watch the movie that we just shot. I think it's the same one that we have there on the post. Well, whatever. Hello, I would love to watch my movie. Watch a movie. I only have Bryson, man. Watch it. The movie's about to begin. Let's see the same movie that we saw before, just we can read the dialogue now. And also, it's us now. It's a shame that we don't actually get a... The real Luke girl versus Bryson, man. A place of never-ending smiles, everyone's ideal place to play, the amusement park. But the fear uh, threatening shadow looms over this happy place. However, it's dark, dark is just before the dawn. A heroine has appeared on the scene. And that heroine's name is the Riolo Girl. But there's no music below that. Now we can watch a bet. You're challenged by Masked Man, Bryson Man. And Ponyard, yeah, it's the same. It's the thing we really just did. In fact, that it just. Well. Go, my Pokemon! Unleash your power! Destroy everything in this amusement park! Hold it right there! Who are you? The messenger of truths and ideals, the Riolo girl enters. Stop right there, Bryson man. I cannot allow your mischief. The amusement park. It is merely a moment of a dream. It is to shape people's ideals. Well, damn it, I have no use for such ideals. Well then I'm gonna take your Ponyard out. Also you should definitely bring stronger Pokemon in here than just one Ponyard and one Wallaby. I, I don't know what you think you're gonna accomplish with these two, but sure. Let's see what your deal is. Hey, what's going on? Is this one of these serious kids? A single hit to KO my Pokemon. You're pretty good, real girl. Despite that, however, you will get down on your knees before me when I end you with my dark secret arts. Prepare to be finished! Bring it on! It's actually a cool outfit. Well said. My dark secret art sent you. Take them and be gone! Hey, now the people look at us. <laughs> I will end you now, Riolo girl. Not with faint attack. Like if you use like Gust or something. But not with faint attack. Anyway, Ice Punch. People seem to be at least somewhat engrossed. Ah! Braving my secret arts to take out my Pokemon with one hit. Don't you get it, Bryson man? This is an amusement park filled with the ideals of people. Be on your best behavior and go home. Very well. I shall pull, pull back today. You made the message of truths and ideals. But I am Bryson Man, the masked man of reality and something. Mark my words, Riolo Girl. 
Wow, she's so cute. Oh, thank you. Thank you for calling me cute. Bryson Man, the Masked Man. What is he planning to do? Teaching Bryson Man, the Masked Man, a lesson. The real Lucas served the, served the amusement park. Having spoken in a daring tone, Bryson Man disappeared into thin air. To protect the troops and the dealers of Unova, go on, real Luca. Fight on, real Luca. Well, I at least have a better conclusion than Riolo Man had. Riolo Boy? I don't know. Yeah, get applause. It looks so creepy. Well, I guess that was alright. Let's change the text speed again. We don't need to be able to read everything. I hope you enjoyed my dramatic reading of Riolo Girl vs. Bryson Man. The records set by Pokestar Studios move, uh, movies are left on this board. That, that made 20 billion? I feel ashamed of that, anyway. Hey Danny, I'm a huge fan of your work. Great work as always. Here, take this. Oh, thanks for Lemonades. Wow, that movie was just great. Your movies are sure the best, Danny. I only have one movie, but thank you for calling about them in plural form. Movies are wonderful. They get two thumbs up. Is that a vending machine? It is! Lemonade! I mean, I don't need lemonade just yet. It's a little bit too rich for what my Pokemon need, but I can just take some. Because you know why? Lemonade's good later on! But I also just got some, so I don't need um, too much. So I'm gonna just take some some fresh water, because fresh water heals 50. And honestly, that's not a bad thing to have instead of potions. It's just these things a little bit. I should have... Do I have still one? I'm gonna buy two more, because then I know if either a 5 or 6 at this point. And I'm gonna save the rest of my money for the moment. And there we go. But that's good. Let's have a look around. And see what we can find in the Pokestar Studios. Who we can talk to. What we can do. More vending machines. Because I definitely have a soda addiction. So nothing else is... Hi. Well, well. If it isn't Danny, darling. Danny. This particular effort turned out to be a spectacular hit, darling. Keep it up, and you'll be loved by movie buffs everywhere and our stuff. Bye for now, Danny. I'm so looking forward to your next picture, darling. I mean, maybe we shoot another one today? If we can't shoot another Riolo Girl movie, maybe we do that, but let me explore this place. Just looking at the posters is exciting. Which movie should I watch today? I don't know. Watch. Watch little pup and I. Hey darling, what are you going to watch today? Well now, I'd like to see a love story just like ours. Can I act in a love story? Hello there, how about a portrait of one of Pokestar Studios famous stars? And right now, Bryce is a hot ticket with women and kids. Sabrina is, an extremely, po uh, is extremely popular with guys. <laughs> I'm afraid we don't carry one of Danny. Yeah, I mean, I'm just a... Well... Your Pokestar... Your Pokestar Studios makes horror films as well. Man, who even watches kid stuff like that anyway? I think you're trying to... Uh... Well, whatever. Hey, I know him. He was the guy caught yelling Mama during the movie with the ghost. Not just anybody can take part in filming a Pokestar Studio. Only trainers approved by the owner can participate. Uh, sure, kind of makes sense. Someday I'm going to be in the pic, in the in pictures, become a famous actor, and buy a mansion, a real big mansion, a huge one. You could also settle for something smaller. Don't have to pay too much for that, and still have a good lifestyle. You know that. When I look at this, uh, from here, I feel like I've become a monster. Rah! <laughs> Cute. There's a dressing room inside this trailer. Inside they're doing costume fittings, makeup and script checks. I'm just finishing cha uh, I just finished changing 
I'm going to give my best today too. Good grief, I've been waiting for three hours. How long does it take to put on makeup anyway? Around that time seems correct as far as I know. Depending on the makeup you might even sit in mask for longer. Ah yeah. Special sets and movie props are stored inside. Before VFX became so advanced we actually had to make a lot of things. Yeah. Man, that director's going off again. His films may be pretty good, but there's a fine line between genius and insanity. I'm a rookie assistant director. I love movies, but I'm not good at making them. The director is really strict and is always getting mad at me. But working for him is teaching me a lot. Yeah, like being a dick or what? Hey, Ed! That's, that set is in the way of the, my film. It's slowing down shooting, so get it out of the way right now! Hey, I'm in the middle. You have Pokemon Star Studios actor as well, right? A single line from an actor can change an entire film. Movie shoots are full of possibilities at Pokemon Star Studios. I'm rehearsing right now. In order to make a good film, doing a lot of work before the shoot is really important. Babuf? Okay, let's see if we can shoot an hour movie or not. Back at the book. Oh, you're. Still don't remember my name? Well, in that case, I have to actually set that one down again. Can we shoot another movie? Hey, hey Danny, how did the big screen to be turn out? At the very least, the boss seemed quite satisfied with your performance. You brought a new script by to commemorate your PokéStar Studios to put. Have a look at it when you want to shoot the film. I want to shoot a film! Okay, pick which script. You have multiples? <gasps> Invaders? Time Gate Traveler? Mystery Doors of the Magical Land? Red Fog and Terror? That's a horror thing, isn't it? <gasps> uh, UFO appears in a major metropolis. The UFO rushes to the, s the UDF rushes to the scene. Mission Knockout L Gym in seven scenes. Don't knock out any other Pokemon. Uh -huh. It's the first experiment experiment of its kind. Awaken the unseen future world. And knock out SFX prop T1 in four scenes. A magical queen sets a trap through the, uh, the suspicious door. Knock out all foes in seven scenes. And red fog of terror. Who are you? Where did you come from? What for? A creepy human type mon human type monster? In 10 scenes. Let's. I want to do a horror movie. Let's film it. Okay, what kind of Pokemon do you want? Rental, please. Okay, alright. Then I'll provide you with the perfect Pokemon for the part. Okay, then let's start the shoot. Let's shoot a horror movie! Shall we get started? Ready? Action! The cameras are rolling and on you and your ensued actor or something. Crop C1. Huh. Interesting. Sigilith. The acting I want to see is all written in the script. Got it? Okay, let's take a quick look. Knock out your phone in 10 turns. My co star has the prop scratch Shadow Clan Acid. Is that all you have? So we both have one Pokemon each, so I need to buy my time. Let's set up a light screen. Light screen, because I have to do this in 10 turns, so I need to buy my time. Mr. the team special defense, scratch. Ouch. A humanoid monster, what in the world is it? <laughs> It's so strong. Can't just blindly send my Pokemon into battle. I'll exhaust us in vain. What should I do now? <laughs> I better wait and see. Deadline. It's perfect for my film. Good. I'm happy. Let's use Reflect. Setting up. Scratch. Taking less damage thanks to that now. 
Act natural, just don't what you normally. Normally I just... Okay, normally I just go in with a side beam at this point. Let's see what that does. Ooh, that did a lot more than I wanted. Don't look away, think about the other actor. But if I attack again, that thing's gone, so... Oh boy! But that's just bad. There's no reason to set up again, because I still have everything going on. But using Cybim again, if we crit, that's over. Stalling that one out for 10 turns, wow. I'm gonna go in with light screen again. Failed, scratch. Yeah, it should be more intense. Relax your body more. Let's see what happens if I use Psy Beam. No, oh, that's good. But I can't stall anymore. There's no such thing as bad movies, just bad acting. Uh, if I don't take you out now, I'm gonna lose and that would make for probably worse movie. So I'm just gonna do that and we see what's gonna happen then. I wish there would have been more dialogue stuff. Yeah, that's better than normal. This should be a good film. Is it? Let's wrap up here. Good work, everyone. That... No, that felt bad. Good work on the shoot. Would you like to release the film you just shot? No, it's okay. Uh, it's really okay to not release the movie you shot. Yeah, okay. That was just... Let's, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Let's see if we can do that a little bit differently there. Let's give me the rental Pokemon again. And we're gonna do this a bit smoother. Because now I know that it starts off with Scratch and all it really does is use Scratch. Let's see what actor Kristen. I know at least that you really like the line of let's wait and see. So that's something there. Because it's still the same script, nothing has changed there. So we're gonna go in and set up with Reflect. That way we take less damage right away. So, because that feels better. Human and monster, what in the world is it? Strong. I better wait and see. I wish I would have some options of like stalling or something. So that I don't have to attack. I'm gonna use one side beam now. Let's just see what happens with that. Please don't crit again. Good, better. The crit last time was a problem. Okay, let's set up the light screen now. We're switching around a little bit of the formula here, but we need to. Again, scratch. Why? Excuse you, but what? what's with the crits here? Am I going to lose that now? That's just dumb. I mean that's for, that would make, that would make for good mo a good movie there. Nearly being taken out, but we're gonna lose that. That's not gonna make for a fun movie. That's just dumb. It's finished, it's over. That's just... We're not gonna release that one. Can can this stupid prop please not? No, we're not gonna release that. What the crud? It's the second time that a stupid crit ruined that movie for me. Why? Why? Why so many crits game? Also, 
Ah! Isn't that kind of dumb? There shouldn't be crits that are not scripted. Right? I'm looking at my dog who's judging me really harshly right now. It's alright. It's alright. Little baby. Oh boy. I really wish there would be more dialogue options during all of this. I don't know how you are supposed to stall that out for 10 turns. Especially if you started off with Shadow Claw this time. I feel like the first one that I had was the best so far. Perfect for the film. Gonna set up a light screen now. There you go, now you just use scratch, but dang it! Some interest in acting. Yes, yeah, sure, I'm just gonna blast that thing and I'm gonna try to take it out this time. I don't know how you're supposed to stall that movie out for 10 turns. Because. All you have is three moves and a thing that only attacks you. Like, what the crud do you want from me there? Some interesting acting. I'm working on it. But as long as... Okay. Yeah, all I can do, that's the best I can do. That's all I can do. But you say in 10 scenes, okay, I just have 10 scenes that I need to take you out. So I don't have to use all 10 scenes, I just have to take you out within the time constraint there. Let's see what happens, if that is okay. Yeah, that's better than normal, this should be a good film. I wish I could stall it a little bit more, but you're about to take me out every time. But anyway, let's release that one to movies. Let's release that one to the theaters, watch it, and then we're gonna call it here for the day. And I, I think we're gonna do a few movies every now and then. Like, we're gonna make... Oh. Did you ask me if I wanna go to the silver screen right away? Well, okay. That was on me. Oh! Nice. Let's see how that humanoid type monster looks like. But yeah, if we do like two movies uh, every now and then, maybe we get some fun episodes out of that. Let's watch The Red Fog of Terror. <clears throat> I did my best. I say. La Nebia Rossa, Red Fog of Toro. Terror. Oh! <gasps> the free spirited traveler Danny decided to rest in a lodge due to the sudden onset of a thick fog. In the middle of the night, an ominous red fog started to gather in her room. <gasps> oh no. Then a shadow stepped out of the fog. How fucking dare you? Oh. You're challenged by the Midnight Red Fog. Humanoid. Oh, that looks funky. I like that. <laughs> but what in the world is that? Oh my, is that a person? No, not quite, though it appears humanoid. And what's in the, what's happening here? It's too dangerous to stay, I have to watch for a chance to get out of here. Um, I wonder if using Pokemon moves on it would do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Yurk is good. Let's just set up. Shadow Claw. 
such a rude move to start with. Super effective, that should enthrall them immediately. A human dead monster, what in the world is it? Um, oh? It's too strong. I can't just blindly send my Pokemon into battle. I can. It'll exhaust us in vain. What should I do now? We set up! I get to do some weird noises here. Better wait and see. Hmm. It's strong, but it doesn't seem intelligent. Ooh, heart beatings. The people are nervous. Scratch. Phew. I think its attack is sub subsided a little. I wonder if it's being cautious, just like me. I mean, it started off with a shadow clone, then only used Scratch. Now's my chance. I'd better secure the, the escape route. <laughs> Glorp blurp. Psybeam. Interesting how I played that apparently correct. Without having any dialogue to go with. No more dialogue, just the text at this point. More scratch. Yeah, this is kind of boring to watch, not gonna lie. Yeah, they really didn't write a lot of dialogue. I mean, if the fight at least looks somewhat interesting. I can't let this thing beat me. Don't worry, we're fine. I'm using my last side beam. The thing's done for. The humanoid fainted. Now, here we go. I have to run while it's bogged down. Then he barely fended off the monster and escaped from the lodge. In the ominous red fog. The world around here has turned strange. The fog is still thick. The dawn is near. Nowhere near her. Something. Was that an okay movie? Would it have been better if I fainted? Oh no, the people seem to be happy with it. Well then, anything new you want to tell me, buddy? Hey, Danny! I'm a huge fan of your work. Great work as always. Here, take this. One lemonade! How many lemonades did I get from you at this point? Let's just take a quick look. Sort everything. I have 14 lemonades. <clears throat> Honestly, if I wanna have lemonades, just make, doing some movies and getting them from you. Ah! Oh yeah, I should check out how much the man... Well, well, if it isn't Danny, darling. Danny, this particular effort turned out to be a spectacular hit, darling. Keep it up and you'll be loved by movie buffs everywhere and stuff. Before, bye for now, Danny. I'm looking forward to seeing you next. Thank you for interrupting me there yet again. But also, let's just take a look at how good slash bad that movie did. That was 20 billion. 22.8 billion! Dang it! I'm making money! Well, actually, I. Do I make money out of those? I don't think I do. I'm working for nothing. I'm working for free. I should definitely complain about that. And I'm gonna send my voice uh, out into the ether next time. Oh, actually, I will have sent it out and we won't get any answer. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed the video, if you did, why not check out the channel for more content like that, subscribe today and leave a like and a comment on this video down below, I really would appreciate that, I hope to see all of you next time, so bye!